The Empire Never Ended, Valis, by Philip K. Dick. Hello there, and today I want to talk about Valis, by Philip K. Dick. And as you can probably see, I am a fan of Philip K. Dick. I've probably done about two or three reviews of his books. Uh, it's kind of a little bit autobiographical, it says, um, and it also is a lot more difficult to read. Uh, I tend to really enjoy his books because um, they're entertaining, but they're also easy to read. And then this book was actually kind of difficult. Uh, I found it, at least in the first half of the book, I had to look up a lot of words in the dictionary, and that's not something I usually need to do when I'm reading a book. So so it was a little bit challenging. Um, and, and it also, it did take me a while to actually get through the first half of the book. Um, I don't know if it's half, but like, I, w I just wasn't really getting into it. I was reading it, but I wasn't getting into it. And then about halfway through or so, um, it kind of got more interesting. Uh, and it was easier to read and I, I read through it a lot faster so so but the thing is is that I read this because I read I read online that this was like one of his you know biggest books this is one of the books that was like a defining book by him um, and I to be totally honest if I read this book first I might not have read any other books by him uh, so anyways what happens in this book so basically uh, you have this character his name is horse lover fat um, which is a funny name, of course. Um, but basically, he's this guy, uh, and he he has like this. He his wife leaves him, and um, he's kind of living by himself. Uh, and then there's this friend who he has, uh, and or this this woman who he knows, and she kind of like meets him, uh, and then he he kind of likes her, uh, and they kind of like it seems like they're going on a date or something. Like he thinks he hopes they're going on a date, sort of. Um, and then she ends up killing herself, like she jumps off a building. He's kind of like getting really depressed and he kind of tries to, to kill himself as well. I don't know, there's a lot of sort of like ups and downs in this, there's a lot of downs in there. Uh, and then later on, there's this woman who he kind of likes and he lives with her for a while and she's like really mean to him. Uh, but yeah, like the first half of the book is like about like all these like sort of bad things that are going on in his life, um, about like, you know, the stuff that's happening to him. Uh, but, and then at one point though, he gets like this, like pink, he sees this like pink light, this pink laser sort of beam light. Uh, and he kind of like gets a, he, he says like, he has like this information transfer to him. He feels like he's like learning all of this stuff. He's getting all this information beamed into his head when this happens. Uh, and he also like gets this glimpse of like the ancient times, like say ancient Rome. That's kind of a lot of what's happening in the first half of the book. So there's lots of this like emotional ups and downs of his life. Uh, and there's lots of these references to these ideas that were beamed into his head. Um, so that's kind of the first half. And then the second half gets, this is where it gets more interesting or is actually like an enjoyable read. Uh, but what happens is that, um, one of, uh, horse lover fats friends, um, his name is Kevin. He, he goes to this movie and it's called Valis. Um, and in the movie, he kind of sees these signs and, uh, he comes back and he tells, he tells horse lover fat, he tells their other friend, David, and he tells, uh, Philip, who's, the author of the book he tells them about um about this movie and then they all go to see the movie together and then they see like a lot of the things that horse lover had been talking about like the things that were beamed into his head uh end up being in this movie that they watch uh and then so they start to like believe that you know actually maybe this guy isn't so crazy because basically all his friends thought he was crazy because of all these like ideas he had and all these these stories kind of that he was telling or these ideas he was interested in phil who's the author he ends up because he's the author philip k dick in real life Life. And so he has that kind of like connections and stuff. He or he contacts um, a photographer who he has worked with in the past, and the photographer is connected to the people who made the movie. And so he he sends a message to the people who made the movie, and it was um, it's King Felix, which is which is something that Horse Lover, who's the guy who who got the the pink beam beamed into his head, um, it's like some some word uh, that he was part of what he was beamed into his head. And so he takes that like idea and he sends that off to the directors of this movie, and then the person who made the movie uh contacts him and says like why don't you come and meet us up north um in our in our house and so they the four of them go to up north to visit these people uh and then um it turns out that the, the these people like they're kind of like crazy almost it seems uh but they do have a daughter two-year-old daughter who they say like she can talk and like she can she knows all this information and they sort of say like she's the savior uh and so they go in uh, eventually the second the second day they're visiting they go and they actually go get to talk to the girl and um you kind of like horse lover fat and philip k dick they become one person again and so 
horse lover is is basically an alter ego of philip the writer or the author of the book and like it's kind of like you kind of it's confusing like it's hinted to along the way like in the first half of the book uh it goes kind of back and forth uh like you kind of get the sense that that's part of it and even on the back of the book i think it sort of suggests that's what's happening um and so anyways like they, they end up becoming one person again um he becomes whole again and this 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 young girl like she tells them these ideas and they kind of sound like biblical ideas about like about you know the nature of humanity and what they're supposed to do and basically her message i think is is generally that like you know you need to stop looking for a savior that the the true savior is ourselves like humans themselves like a person themselves is the savior uh and then they are the sort of the 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 coming saviors themselves and so they need to sort of embrace that and go with that the second time they meet the girl um they talk about like what sort of their mission should be and she tell the girl tells the four the three guys that they need to leave and they don't need to go back and they need to wait for instructions um and when they uh when they're going to leave the the two the two people who own the house and like the the people who they made the movie they like to say hey why don't you guys stay and join our commune and then you know the, the three guys are like oh, we actually have to go we have to go do something and so, so they leave um they fly back and they um and a couple days later i guess they find out that the little girl died um and it was because like one of the guys uh one of the guys the filmmaker related people uh he used this laser on her and he kind of killed her and so once the girl dies like so they thought the girl was a savior but because she died they don't think that she's the savior anymore uh and so horse lover kind of believes that oh the savior must still be out there and so he kind of goes traveling around the world to find the savior uh and and philip he stays home and he kind of watches TV to try and get messages from Vallis. Um, and, you know, they, they kind of like it, their their lives kind of just kind of go on. And then at the end, there's the appendix, which kind of talks about like, the, and, and it's kind of like his philosophy or theory of, of reality and of the world. And there's, I read it last night and there's parts of it that I was kind of like curious about, like I thought were interesting, like the idea about like, about all of reality being information and opposed to being like material uh, and I, I kind of believe that philosophy, like in that idea, I think that the, the, that reality is information and that we kind of construct a, like a space time reality uh, in our minds out of the information, out of the con out of like the context of where we live uh, or, or where we are. Sorry. And so like we're beings that exist in some place and that we create reality around us uh, through our minds or through through whatever information let's say like reality is like there's like this like deterministic sort of physical mechanical reality and then there's this like kind of other reality which is which is different which is kind of free it has volition like you it has will and control and sort of and i kind of think that's also true i kind of like that idea because i think that's true like i think for the most part that we do live in a deterministic reality but i don't think that we are locked into that deterministic reality i do think that we do have free will i do think that we do have choices and that we are able to make um that we are able to sort of do things differently than what's determined for us and I, so so in in a sense I, I agree with that part as well um and so like there are some ideas in there that are interesting and i think that too you know like a lot of this book is about like the difficulties of, of life, like about the complications of life of like how things like there's like suffering, uh, how things don't always go well, like how things can go bad. And, um, and about like, it's also about death as well, because lots of people die. Um, and there's lots of like, it's just like the, the effects that the death has on other people. Um, and like, you know, life is, life is pretty complicated. Life is, can be pretty difficult at times and so it kind of like captures that a little bit um and i do remember actually like when i wanted to read this was because someone had said that like their life was they were like really depressed or something and this book had kind of helped them um and i'm not depressed but i thought like you know if, if someone who was feeling depressed was reading this book and it was helping them then maybe this, there's some good ideas in there and there's some ideas that will like kind of you know help help live a better life uh but i would say like yeah like there wasn't very many original ideas and there was only sort of some stuff that was agreeable to me um i would say too like if you're a fan of philip k dick's fiction um then this book is a little bit different from the other books i honestly it was hard to get through it the first half of it but it did get more interesting in the second half uh, but i would say like realistically like if this was the first book that i read by him i wouldn't have read more books by him um so it's a good thing that i didn't read this book first um but yeah like just the idea is um it's an okay read um it's an okay book it's got some decent ideas in there, but I think that like a lot of his other books are better um, at giving ideas. And I think that too, potentially part of the problem is that this is like autobiographical, autobiographical, 
biographical. And so like that is my, uh, that might be part of the problem. That might be part of the reason why it wasn't as engaging as an entertaining as other books are. Uh, but yeah, like generally speaking, if you're a fan of Philip K. Dick, like, you know, everyone has different sort of interests and different types of books. But for me, yeah, this book would not, I would not, um, I would not necessarily recommend this book. To be honest, it wasn't it wasn't that good. Uh, like it was, I didn't enjoy it that much. I don't know if it's not good. It's just I didn't enjoy it as much as a lot of all the other books that I've read by him. If you've read this book, let me know what you think about it below. Right, leave a comment. Uh, click that subscribe button. Uh, click that like button.